as a young man, when I lived in a country area where there was absolutely very little to do in free time, I spent a lot of time watching movies on VHS, which was the format at the time. Then we moved to CDs or DVDs, if you will, and we could watch them that way from the library, pardon me, or from a rental video shop. And then those places that I can't even remember the name of went out of fashion. And you can't find those video rental places anymore because many videos, even of old times, are now online. Or you can rent them from Netflix or you can get them from a red box at a McDonald's. And openly, that's the truth of America. Technology is always evolving quickly to the point that some businesses, some entities time out and they're no longer available. In the case of marketing, we always need marketing, but there is always that over uh, compensation, not at all, that overflux of people who want to do marketing that might be better than me, that might not be as good as me, that might be more sound than me, that might be more crazy than me, but the reality is I still have to sell myself as a marketing person. And to market myself in my current moment of time, I have to market myself as life is for me. And as life is for me as I live outdoors. But as his life is for you is totally different because you have a different course in your life. But I didn't choose this course. I didn't choose this path. Other people decide to put themselves on top of my life as if they're Lord and Savior of me. And they haven't saved me, have they? Because I'm still living out loud, right? I'm still living my life my way. The best that I can every single day. But you're the person that has the right to choose if you'll help me to eat. You're the person that has the right to choose whether you're going to face the Lord as a person of God. Or a person of Satan. Now what I mean by that is I don't expect every person who steps up on the block to feed me. But what I see you doing every day is giving junk food and crap to other people like me. So when I decline to you, it's because I have different needs than them. I have cellular needs that have certain unique needs. And I have a health that's mine to manage. And I have a longevity that I have to care for. Or am I the only man that does that? Don't you do that? You see, the lie you told yourself was that you thought you could create one record on me. And when you did that, you put your life on the line. Not only that for your company and in terms of its liability, but you put your life on the line in terms of your own legality. At no time did you have the right to talk about me. At no time did you have the right to lie about me. At no time did you have the right to presume that I wasn't talking on a fucking cell phone and not talking about you. You see, the lie you told yourself was the lie you told yourself. But people want to accuse me of lying to myself about my job. No, you can't say that. Because I see the comments that I make and I see who uses them. And I see what my work does, and I see who doesn't abuse them. But you're not in my life, you're not in my industry, you're not in the potential of my future life. And yet you're judging me all the time. You're making fun of me. You're destroying my computer, you're destroying my content. You ruined every fucking photo I had of my life with my wife. I didn't have that many. Some marvelous bitch in my family stole all my photographs from Japan and destroyed them all out of hatred, so the only photograph I had left was the one that I had on my computer. And you fucking ruined it. So don't expect me to like you. And don't expect anybody in your entire community to like you. Because every single person in America has a family of choice. And everyone wants to have their precious photos for their family. So if you think that you're going to get away with the shit you pulled, you won't.